Gigi hair. I'm going to show you how to add your elastic bands. They actually include a free one in the box with your wig. This is a full cap wig. It's pre-parted, so I didn't even have to bleach the knots. Very simple and easy. Um, this style came with the wig, so you don't even have to style it. Just kind of make your baby hair and keep it going. But I'm going to talk about all that um, after I show you the tutorial on how I add the elastic bands. So if you're interested in that, stick around. Um, this time, they sent over, um, they always send wig caps and um, the elastic band. So I decided, why not I teach you guys how to add your elastic bands properly to your wigs this time around. They also sent over some brown caps. I usually go with a cap a little bit lighter than this, but I'm out of my um, caps that I normally use. So I'm going to use one of these. This is the wig that they sent over. I have to check my email because I can't remember exactly um, what wig this is. Um, it is linked down below and it is super beautiful. It has some nice natural waves to it and has a nice beautiful bob going on. Um, it is a lace wig and it is pre-parted. Um, inside the wig, let's flip it for you guys. It is machine wefted and that's kind of where this cap is. Um, there's a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps. There is a little bit of lace for me to cut off. There's also a ton of lace and lace parting in the front where you see the lace here is where you'll be able to part when you flip it over. Um, there's also three combs in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my new stocking cap. And then also this is the elastic band that they gave. I'm going to be showing you how to add this to your wigs. This is a really nice elastic band i believe this is a one inch usually i go for a one inch or a one and a half so i'm gonna go ahead and get you guys started i'm gonna put it on the mannequin head to show you guys but before i even do that i did not bleach the knots on this wig um reason before is that it's pre-parted whenever the wig is pre-parted that means there is no knots where the parting is if it's already pre-parted there's absolutely no need to go ahead and bleach your knots because there are no knots to bleach so this is what the wig looks like um, to start. All I did was I removed the lace and I um, the, removed the excess lace and I adjusted the straps. I haven't done anything else, but I just wanted to show you guys what the hair looks like to start. I think this is a great start and the first thing I noticed is how soft this hair truly feels. Um, so I want to be able to add the elastic band. Okay, so this is just how I do it. I'm not a professional or anything like that. But I just take it and I start here at one ear and then I pull it from here to, to the next ear, like right where the, my ear ends. And then once I'm here, I kind of just adjust it to see how tight I want it. You don't necessarily want it to be a perfect. You want to kind of pull it tight since it is elastic. That way this is going to help it to stay tight. So this is the perfect length and then I'll just like pull it a little bit more about an inch. And then see how that feels. And if it feels good, I'll let it go there. And then I just take my scissors and cut. You can make it as tight as you want. I probably personally wouldn't go past an inch or maybe two. So in my wigs, a lot of the times the wigs will have like a little flap right here. Usually that's a great place to pull it because when you pull that tight, it makes the lace look like it's coming out of your skin and then the wig won't move or shift. So this is where I want to put mine. So I kind of will just go really quickly and see how it feels. And if it feels good, I take it off and I put it on. So hopefully those first few steps were self-explanatory. Now I'm going to place the wig on my mannequin head. I'm showing you those little flaps that I was talking about. And how I'm going to place the um, elastic band on those flaps. And I just get right to sewing. Um, the cool thing about this is if you place the elastic onto those flaps. And then you put it on and it doesn't fit right. You can always unsew and you know re-sew it until you get it perfectly right. Um, just make sure that when you do sew it down that you kind of, um, not necessarily take your time, but just like make sure that you put enough thread and sew it tight enough that it does not come loose because I've had that happen before. And now I'm flipping it to the other side. I was trying to do it on the cap, but it just wasn't working. So I'm going to just hold it because this is how I actually do it. I, I never used the mannequin. I just thought the mannequin was a great way to um, be able to show you guys. But I lined it up exactly where I wanted it, and now I'm going to sew it down and make it as secure as possible. I'm not the best with sewing, so my sewing is not like perfectly uniform, but it does the job. 
Now, whenever I finish, I cut off the excess non thread. I also triple knot it and that helps it to not come apart. Now, we're going to switch out the old wig with the new, and this is basically how I put it on like a football helmet. Um, I did put on that brown wig cap as well. I forgot to add some powder to the wig cap, but I'm going to add powder to the parting so it doesn't really matter. And I'm using Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC in the color Dark. Feel free to use whatever powder works for you. Um, there was some pre-made baby hair, so I went ahead and separated it from the rest of the hair. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim it down a little lower. I'm not really, I don't really care to um, tweeze this wig. I feel like it worked, this will work just fine for me. But if you want to, obviously you can. I'm going to take some the Gorilla Stot Gel. Sorry, that was a tongue twister. Um, and just use my fingers and my rat tail comb to make baby hair that works great for me. Um, I did cut the baby hair pretty short. and This is kind of how I like it most times. Um, I Like I said, always say, I switch it up and do it different ways. Just to see what I like the most. But I like it when it's super short like this. Um, I got a little lazy, so I didn't do the sides. I just kind of did focused on where you would be able to see. I'm going to take some holding spray and kind of just um, work it into the hair so that the um, hair in the front can kind of stick up and use the heat to reinforce it. Um, kind of like that. I don't really know how to explain that, but like how it like kind of sticks up in the very front and like flips over. I'm going to take some sheen, oil sheen, and um, add it for a nice um, sheen to the hair. <laughs> so hopefully that was pretty self-explanatory. Um, when you add your elastic bands, it kind of helps the lace to look like it's coming out of your scalp. It just makes it fit so much tighter around the perimeter of your head. Even if the cap itself fits tight, adding an elastic band just makes it so much better and it takes it to another level not to mention it also adds security because when you tug and pull on it it's less likely to move or shift um and then i also went ahead and styled it on camera you guys seen i added a little bit of powder i used my mineralized skin finish natural in medium or actually in dark and it was a little bit too light so i will change that later on but this did come pre-parted. What's cool about a wig that comes pre-parted or a lace closure that comes pre-parted is that you don't have to bleach the knots because where the part is, there is no knots. All you have to do is blend it by adding a powder that's already the skin color or your skin color or your foundation color into the parting. That way um, it won't be too light. Um, I also did go ahead and make some baby hair. This wig did come with baby hair already um, available so I just trimmed it down and just swooped it as usual and then i just went ahead and you know added my other little products i have all the products that i used linked down below but nothing special what i loved is that this wig already came pre-styled um the first thing that i noticed about this wig when i put it on is how um soft the texture is super beautiful it has some nice natural wave to it and i like the fact that it is a side part kind of like a light choppy bob and I love it. Let me show you guys what it looks like from the back. That you. And yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it was easy for you guys to follow along with. If you have any questions with respect to how to add your elastic bands, don't forget to um, leave them in the comments and I will respond. Um, also, if you don't buy a wig that, like for example, this wig came with an elastic band, but if you just wanna have some extra on hand, um, I do get mine on Amazon, so I have that link down below. I always keep a one and a half inch or a roll of the one and a half inch um, on hand. Then I also always keep the um, one inch on hand. So I'll link both down below if you want to purchase. Um, also, you know, if you don't want to purchase online, anywhere that sells like um, sewing stuff usually will have any. Also, if you find yourself um, cutting it um, too tight, don't be afraid to just undo it and use another piece and that's why it's good to have a roll on hand so if you make it too tight you can make a piece so that's like a half inch or an inch bigger and that way it won't like give you a headache or make you dizzy um and if you are or if you make a wig and it is too tight a lot of the times what i do is i'll take my scissors and i'll just go and i'll just grab on i'm gonna show you guys my kitchen but i'll just grab on 
the band this is the band right here so I'll just take a piece of scissors and I'll just literally with it on my head cut like halfway up and I'll do like three slits around like one here one on this side and one in the center and that will alleviate a lot of the pressure if I make it too tight and then I'll be able to go back when I have time and um, switch it out for a fresh one and yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and as always i'll see you in the next one